This is a quick start on bringing animations from 3ds Max cat into Maya using human IK. As you can see here, we have a cat rig, and this cat rig is being driven by the cat motion. And it's totally automated here. I'm going to make it look like it's walking in a line like this. Your rig must be put together in a T pose. And here's a quick rundown of that rig. I'm going to hide the mesh here. And as you can see here, you have the pelvis, the spine, spine one, spine two, and then the rib cage hub. I'm using the rib cage hub here as a controller on this rig. Another thing you need to think about is keeping this cat root facing towards the front along the Y axis. If you don't do that, it could show up on human IK as invalid. It's really important to have this in a T pose for human IK because the whole rig could show up as invalid and you wouldn't be able to extract that animation. I'm not gonna go into details of how to solve that if that happens, but just make sure that you are putting your rig into a good T pose. So right before we send it over to my, let's just make sure we're in the play mode here and that things are animated like so. I'm gonna go up into file and then send to Maya as a new scene. Okay, in Maya, we can see that our character has been brought in. It's doing the exact same motion. So what I'm gonna do is, we can see that our character here, if we go into definition, we can see that it's totally valid. And if we scrub this, we see that nothing's flipping as it's walking along here, which is good, it's a valid Thing that can be targeted towards with human IK. So I'm going to go here and go to none and I'm going to just create a skeleton. And here's our human IK skeleton. I'm going to point it towards the character we just brought in. And there we go. You can see that the human IK skeleton is copying that motion.